Welcome to our channel. Laguna Beach Girls Volleyball wins Division 7 title with sweep of Street Paul in CIFSS finals. Laguna captures its first CIFS title since 2007 with a dominant effort in the CIFS playoffs. The Laguna Beach Girls volleyball team came into the Division 7 playoffs with a record well under 500. But records can be deceiving, especially for the breakers, who played several teams throughout the season who qualified for the playoffs in higher divisions, including two in their own league. So it shouldn't be too surprising that the Breakers cruised through their first four playoff matches and went on to sweep Street Paul 25-9, 26-24, 25-19 in the Division 7 championship match Saturday at Labuda Beach High School. The Breakers 11-25 swept four of their five opponents in the playoffs. It's definitely really special, Laguna Beach senior middle Sadie Holmes said. Especially my senior year my last time playing high school volleyball. I really had that drive to want to win the whole thing. Three kills from Layla Kalak, an ace from Sienna Lee and two blocks by Blake Borquist helped the breakers jump out to a 15-5 lead in the first set and then closed out the set on a 10-4 run. For Laguna Beach coach Sinan Semtanik, who also coaches the Santa Margarita Boys volleyball team, and guided the Eagles to a CIFSS Division II title in 2023. The Breakers' championship was his first in his four years at the school. This was a little lower division than what I was hoping for, Tanik said. But we have the chance to show our true quality and abilities in state against tougher opponents. The Breakers captured their sixth Southern Section title and first since winning back-to-back -back titles in 2006 and 2007. It appeared as though Laguna Beach would win the second set in similar fashion after back-to-back -back kills from Bailey Bina gave the Breakers a 14-7 lead. But the Swordsman 20-10, who finished third in the Santa Fe League, regrouped and started to battle back. With Riley Avina serving, Street Paul went on a 7-1 run with Avina serving four aces during that stretch. Laguna Beach led 22-20 when a kill from Street Paul's Jayla Esquivel, followed by a net violation and hitting error by the Breakers gave the Swordsmen their first lead in the match at 23-22. Ava Hernandez's block gave Street Paul a 24-22 lead, setting up match point. But the Breakers scored the next four points, closing out the set on a left-side kill from Holly Hopper. Laguna Beach led 20-16 in the third set when Street Paul scored consecutive points on a pair of kills from Esquivel to get to within two points. But this time, the Breakers didn't let the Swordsmen get any closer and closed out the set and the match on a 5-1 run. Laguna Beach advances to the CIF State Playoffs that begin next week. I think the pressure kind of got to the girls, Street Paul coach Riley Kelly said. Our program has not been a winning program in the last couple of years, so I think coming this far was a little surprise to everybody. And I think the girls, on the big stage, maybe got a little nervous. But you know, they came out and fought once they got a little comfortable. A little too late in the end, but they did the best they could. Thanks you for watching. Stay connected with us for more videos.